So this is what we call our hand and acid video. So what we're doing is taking some water solve curative here and placing it in the beaker. This product is extremely fumey. So the odor is extremely strong. The gases that we can't see are also extremely corrosive, but the liquid itself is not corrosive. And you can see, put my hand in it. That's a pH of zero. And then what we have here are two different types of crystals. Uh, this is quartz and this is calcite. They both kind of look the same. But what's interesting is, so this is like calcium carbonate, the pure form of calcium carbonate called calcite. This is quartz. And you would think that they're the same and that they're both soluble. The reason we have them here is so that we could show you that calcite is soluble because it's one density of scale. Quartz is not. Notice I've had the acid on my hands this entire time. Extremely soluble. We'll put that entire crystal into solution. Completely insoluble quartz. It will not dissolve at all. So what's happening there is that crystal was actually formed by calcium absorbing carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide is what's coming off. And the calcite will go into solution. And that's what our chemistry does. So concentrated, doesn't hurt me. We can dilute it with water. We'll put that entire crystal into solution. Probably take about 15 minutes and that entire crystal will be dissolved. It's a lot smaller already. And yet the quartz, no reaction. So that's kind of uh, also similar to what goes on when using sulfuric acid, is it leaves behind crystals that won't solubilize in the acid. What's unique about this acid is that it's going to take that calcite and actually convert it into a high-grade nutrient that will never crystallize again. And by high-grade nu uh, nutrient, we mean an amino glycolate acid that is going to provide sugars, it's going to be available to the plant for the plant to drink it, and it'll never absorb the carbon dioxide again, so it'll never evaporate to dryness and form scale. So this is how we fix infiltration in soils, this is how we convert uh, nutritional products and minerals into high-grade nutrition, and uh, how we get our insoluble cations uh, into our plants and into our tissues for uh, their vitality, their growth, and for increased uh, yields.